Coach Keith Lane, Frankie DeChara, and Ryan Hitchcock. Coach, why don't you begin your opening statement? Some questions. Yeah, no, I thought uh, I thought it was a, a really hard-fought hockey game. Um, you know, I think uh, the thing that I like most the best about our game was the way we played in all three periods. Uh, and, uh, you know, to come out and have a third period like that, uh, protecting a one-goal lead, uh, is just what you, you want to see your hockey team do. I thought it was a great environment. Um, really was amazing to me how many people came out in the snowstorm. I think uh, it's a nice commentary on Connecticut hockey fans and, uh, and how they feel about uh, a good interstate rivalry. So uh, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the day. I'm sure you take 41 shots on net every single night. Uh, it seemed like you got some really good opportunities tonight. Yeah, I thought our forecheck was strong. Um, our, our guys were really on their toes, and uh, I think we made it difficult for their D and created a lot of turnovers. And um, so, yeah, we want to we want to produce offense. That's one of the things we want to be about. And, and I thought we did a good job tonight. We work on it all the time. You know, I don't think it was something that we focused on. I think, you know, during the break, we, we really um, worked on, on every part of our game, our forecheck, our D-zone coverage, our rush offense, our special teams play. I mean, all the things that we always work on. Frank, have you noticed a difference with the lines and, and the way you guys have been able to create chances these past couple of games as opposed to the first half of the season? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, these last two games, you know, Northeastern, UConn, both uh, great teams. Um, but, you know, we've, like Coach said, uh, we've been working on things in practice, uh, just trying to fine tune our game. And uh, especially with the break here, um, you know, with no school, no class or anything, we, you know, have the ability to just focus on hockey and come to the rink every day, come prepared and uh, ready to work. So, uh, yeah, everything's been going pretty well. We've been clicking pretty well as a team, um, both offensively and defensively, all three zones. Um, so hopefully we just keep it going here. Yeah, power play goals are important. You know, they, they actually scored a power play goal prior to our scoring our two, and uh, that made a big difference in the game, you know, and uh, I thought that swung momentum in their favor for a little bit, and then uh, when we got our opportunities on the power play, um, our guys made sure we took care of it. So uh, special teams uh, play a big role in college hockey, and all hockey, actually. I'm a little worried when uh, Huska did such a strong job in the first period, you had a guy out of line for a couple of years who did that to a lot of opponents. I might not want to say I was worried. Uh, you know, I, uh, we know what a quality goaltender he is, and uh, um, I think our our plan really was to was to get a volume of shots on him, and eventually uh, the law of averages works out. You're going to get some, but uh, I was pleased with the way we played in the first period, and, <coughs> and you know, uh, I think Huska did a great job for his team. Yeah, I mean, today it's rotation. Tomorrow it might not be. Um, I thought we got good goaltending in the Northeastern game, and I thought we got good goaltending tonight. So uh, we'll see how they look in practice tomorrow. Ryan, talk about your goal. What happened with Yeah, um, I know you guys touched on it. They had a big goal um, midway through the second on the power play, and we went out there, and we know we had a job to do. It's a privilege to be on the power play, and you know you got to get go out there and uh, make plays. So. Um, I think uh, they failed to get it out. Uh, Matt Foley made a great play over to Joe Snively, who found me, and I uh, just tried to get it off as quick as I could. Ryan, Frankie, were you guys as surprised as coach how many people got out here today, considering that the weather condition is uh, out there? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, obviously the snow kind of gets people from coming. I know my parents didn't make the trip from Long Island. Uh, apparently, we got hit with snow down there, and uh, it was snowing up here. Um, but uh, yeah, it was great. Um, to be quite honest with you, I was a little bit surprised, uh, like Coach said. But um, you know, it was great to have everybody here, and um, the atmosphere is really great. And uh, you know, I really enjoyed playing out there today. Yeah, my parents also were un unable to make it from Long Island. So, uh, but no, it just goes to show how how great uh, Connecticut hockey fans are. Always coming out to Ingles, always coming out. Um, we play Quinnipiac, and it's great to have another interstate rival in UConn, and they're a great team, building a great great program. So. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, 
Yeah, well, it's a long way off with my frame of reference. Um, but, uh, you know, it's actually, it's something that we've been talking about. Uh, Wayne Dean's my uh, athletic director uh, who really uh, does uh, an amazing job with our scheduling. So it's something that we've talked about for the last couple of years. Um, and, uh, you know, we like to do things for our guys that give them unique opportunities. And uh, obviously getting an opportunity to go to Northern Ireland uh, over Thanksgiving is going to be something that I think the 26 guys get, that get to go will remember forever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think a lot of our younger guys stepped up in a big way tonight, and that's uh, that's encouraging moving forward. Um, we went in a break, and we knew we needed to make a change, and I think everyone's bought in. And it goes to show in the third period, everyone bought in the system. No one's out there um, playing for their own agendas, trying to get goals. Yeah, You know, um, we really locked it down, and again, it was great to see some of those young guys step up. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, I think, like I said earlier, things have been uh, finally clicking for us. Obviously, uh, we got a, lo a lot of younger guys in the lineup, and uh, that's no excuse or anything. They're all great hockey players. Um, but at the same time, college hockey is an adjustment. Um, you know, myself and Ryan went through it. Uh, yeah, it's an adjustment period. And, um, you know, like I said, when I uh, come back to school or when there's no school right now, we can really focus on hockey and really focus on what we got to do to do it uh, on what we need to do on a daily basis. Um, you know, things are finally starting to click, and um, I'm really excited for what we're going to, uh, the run we're going to make going forward. The adjustment, school, uh, physicality, is it all of it combined? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you wake up on, uh, you know, Monday's our off day, but you wake up on a Tuesday morning, you got to go to two or three classes, go right to the rink, and, uh, you know, you got to kind of forget about everything that's going on uh, with school, because right when you're at the rink, you got to focus on hockey. And then right after, uh, right after practice, you got to turn school to switch back on. Um, but you kind of got to, kind of got to maintain a balance of both. And um, I think going forward here, as we uh, start the second semester of school, um, guys are adjusted. Um, our upperclassmen are doing a great job. Um, our captain John Hayden is doing a great job um, with, you know, we're looking out for the freshmen, sophomores, and everybody. Um, so uh, we're really excited. <coughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, guys.